Hello everyone. Uh, in light of the Ukraine crisis escalating quickly, I've managed to get hold of Gary Reynolds, our Chief Investment Officer, to ask him a few questions. Gary, um, we know there's a lot going on and it's moving fast. What I really want to focus on at the moment is the impact this has had on the Courtes funds and what are you and the investment team doing to ensure the safety of clients' assets? Well, this, this problem has been brewing for a while and uh, we were monitoring it on team. Um, ironically, had you and I been having a, a, a video exchange or a discussion yesterday afternoon, I would have said the balance of probabilities were in favour of Putin and Russia not taking the steps which they have taken overnight. Um, but, but our job is to consider what the risks are and to make sure portfolios are, are protected against those risks as best they can be, irrespective of we, what we think may or may not happen. And um, I have to say, but behind the scenes for the past two or three weeks, our own compliance team uh, have been looking at exposures. Um, this is not the investment team, by the way. This is, as a regulated firm, we have to have an independent internal compliance team. And, and we also have an external um, trustee, oblique depository, as they're called, which is uh, Citigroup, looking at everything we do. And they have obviously been interested in what the risks are to the portfolio uh, in the event of conflict breaks out in Ukraine. And we have been uh, pretty low risk in this area. Uh, we've got no direct holdings in Russia, no direct holdings in China. Um, you know, with the build up in EM stocks recently has been in, uh, for us has been in Brazil. Um, we've got very good liquidity. One of our holdings, Polymetal, has about 40% of its re revenues from Russia. That's the worst hit thing this morning. A um, lot of markets uh, have slipped a few percentage points. At one stage, the MOEX, the Russian market, was down about 45%, but we haven't had any direct exposure to that. So, Leo, so far, so good. Thanks, Gary. So I noticed the FTSE was down around 3% earlier today. I'm not sure where it's at exactly now. But you know, sort of pre-2020, that would have caused quite a shock, wouldn't it? Well, yes and no. It depends on, it depends on um, what happens in the year. You know, as James showed in, in, the, um, in his December seminar presentation, um, movements of over 2% a day in, in the FTSE in times of volatility are quite normal. Um, I would say that, yes, you might say that had the FTSE decided unilaterally to move three percentage points down when nothing else did, you'd ask some serious questions about what risks were being identified in the UK that weren't being seen worldwide. But when you get a major event, a geopolitical occurrence like this, then it's, it's, in, it's inevitable that stocks around the world are going to give up some ground because everybody, you've got to get a lot of uncertainty. And as I've said, for as long as we've been doing these videos, the one thing the market hates more than anything else is uncertainty. And uh, that's certainly the case here. Thanks, Gary. So just one more question, because uh, I'm keen to get this wrapped up and out to clients as soon as possible. You've just spent two years managing a pandemic and major volatility in the markets. Now you've got a crisis in Ukraine and a Russian invasion. Is this alongside business as usual, the same kind of thing, regardless of its nature, the fact it's having impacts on markets, is it the same to you and the investment team as say, when the pandemic hit? How does it fit in with your business as usual? Well, the way you ask, ask that question, Leo, it, 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 it almost makes me feel like we should be quite upset that we've had a hard time, two years managing money in a pandemic, and now we're managing um, uh, the, the fallout from tensions in the Donbass or potentially the, the whole of Ukraine. Um, firstly, uh, whatever we're going through, it's nothing like the, 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 the pain that the Ukrainian people are going through with conflict right on their doorstep, which is gonna disrupt not just, you know, it's a loss of life uh, for, for um, civilians and also for soldiers. So it's terribly sad. Um, 
uh, from our point of view, what I would say to you is, the, as I say to anyone that comes in and starts working on team, this is what this is what you're paid for. You're paid to manage things when it gets really difficult. It's easy when everything's going up, you know, but a rising tide lifts all boats. You've got to actually you've got to actually do your work when things are are not so good. And our main function on team is to manage risk as best we possibly can, and it can come in all types of things man-made risk like this uh, problem in ukraine or or a nasty virus um which escapes around the world and and causes uh, a, a, the first major pandemic for a hundred years um you, you just you just have to get on with it and and so uh, so we do but I, I wouldn't ask anyone to feel sorry for us because personally i wouldn't do anything else um to make a living it's 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 uh it's 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 just something that you 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 learn to cope with and and part of what you have to do if you're ma if you're managing money gary thank you very much for your time and thank you for all of your communications across the company this morning it's been very active in making sure that we're all aligned and informed as to what's happening with our clients investments uh, and to our viewers we'll keep watching the situation we'll keep communicating as things unfold if you have any questions along the way please let us know and we'll do our best to get those answered for you. Thanks.